In database systems, queries rely on the structured order of an index to find information. Composite indexes are built from multiple columns to better group the data they contain for complex queries. Let's take a look at how to build a composite index, how index prefixes work, and some limitations when working with prefixes. The user's table is currently indexed by the email column, which is not useful when filtering on a user's name. Indexing first and last names together would help avoid full table scans when trying to find user information. Build a composite index on the last name and first name columns. When your query filters for the name of a specific user, the index is used and a full table scan is avoided. The index prefix is the set of leading columns of an index found in left to right order. A composite index with many columns will have many potential prefixes. If you only have a user's last name, a query that filters based on the last name you are looking for will take advantage of the composite index. Since you were able to filter by just the last name using the index, you might expect to be able to use it when searching on a first name. You'll see, however, that a full table scan is used for this search. The composite index stores the last name, then first name, ordered accordingly. Because all of the last names are clustered in the index, it makes filtering by that efficient. But first names are scattered, so a query filter on just the first name is not able to take advantage of the index because of this ordering. Your index can be used either when you know both names or when you know only the last name, but not when you know only the first name. To address this issue, you can build another index on the user's table, this time specifying first name. Using explain, you'll see that a full table scan is avoided. Composite indexes are bound by index prefixes even as they grow in scope. You could index every possible column in the table together in a single composite index, and you would still be limited by the left to right order of the index. For example, let's say you had a hypothetical table with columns A, B, C, D, and E. If you index all of the columns together, in that order, a query could filter using the index on A, A and B, a, B, and C, and so on. It would not be used when querying on B because the use of the prefix requires a query on A, B, and C. Any query that does not reflect the index prefix will not use the index when filtering. When using a range filter, queries will take advantage of the composite index. However, a filter on any additional columns after the range filtered column will require an additional filtering step. Let's review. Composite indexes are indexes created from multiple columns. Index prefixes are the ordered structure of an index. They can be useful for responding to complex queries, but they are limited by the structured order of the information they store. Mm -hmm.